Hey everyone and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be doing Saint Row 4, 5 things I love and 10 things I hate. But before we get into it, I want to quickly say, and I know every YouTuber does this, but we're one month away from the one year anniversary and I think it'd be pretty cool if we could hit 3k subscribers. That'd be awesome and you know, I want to try and get to 3k before the game's out, but even better if we can get it before the one year. So right now I want to say if you're not subscribed, please do, it would mean the world. And yeah, let's quickly get into this. So, first of all, I loved that the superpowers were fun. Now, superpowers are always a bit iffy in Saint Row, as we'll discover shortly, but um, these superpowers are really fun, unique, you know, they had a lot of fun elements, and I think they did the superpowers actually quite well. I feel like if they were making a superpower game or a superhero game, they would um, have a blast of it, and I think that they would actually make quite a good superhero game. But yeah, the superhero powers in um, Saint Row 4 were always quite fun. But I do hate that we had superpowers. I feel like having superpowers kind of removed it from... You know, what we wanted, it wasn't very grounded, it was very weird, you know, it, it wasn't what we were expecting, and it was a big difference to what we're used to, and I, and I can't help but feel that superpowers overall had a worse effect than if they weren't there. I mean, even if they had an alien game like it was without the superpowers, I feel like I'd have probably enjoyed it a bit more. But you know what, they went full wacky, and you know what, I fully support it. But another bad effect of that was that cars were useless. Cars essentially just didn't need to exist in Saints Row 4. And to be honest, I kind of wish they didn't. They, more than often than not, get in the way. I mean, I've never even drove a car in Saints Row 4 besides maybe the first mission. And I can't help but feel that having cars in uh, Saints Row 4 was just kind of, well, pointless really. One thing I do love, though, is the fan service for this game. The fan service with Saints Row 4 was unreal. Plenty of, you know, throwbacks to the older games. And to me, Saints Row 4 did not feel like a canon game. It was supposed to be a fun-filled blast to the past. And that's kind of how I look at Saints Row 4. And to be honest, it makes me enjoy the game more. If you don't look at it as a continuation of the series, but more as a fan game, a game made for the fans, for people to have their, you know, nostalgic blast backs and, you know, all these things, then, hell, I enjoy it even more thinking about that. For me, the canon ended with 3 and 4 was just, you know, good old fun. But I did hate that it wasn't a very good Saints Row. Because of this, it wasn't, you know, unique in any real way. It didn't really have its own identity as a Saints Row game. I mean, yes, it's Saints Row with superpowers, but that's kind of all people see as it. And I just don't think it was a good Saints Row game. Saints Row 1, 2, and even 3 to a certain degree was realistic. It was a gang, okay? And even though Saints Row 3 went more on the wacky side, they did not fully commit to it like they did with 4. And I feel that if they would have stopped at 3 and then in 4 went a more serious route, they could have pulled back the series back in its direction that it, people wanted. And I kind of feel that 4 kind of threw that out the window. We kind of ruined the series with 4, I feel. However, I also hate that the story was short. Not only was it, um, you know, not a very good Saints Row game, but it was a very short Saints Row game. And, you know, for the fun-filled elements you had, it was great. But I kind of feel a lot of the missions were go here, activate this, go here, activate this. And it just kind of felt like fetch quests. And it just wasn't very good, quite honestly. It, it just didn't feel very good by the end of it. I kind of wanted more. It's not a short story by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely not a long one. And it's kind of a worry, I actually, have for the reboot. I have the reboot story is definitely longer than Saints Row 4. But one thing I do love about it is the weapons were fun. Man, were there some unique weapons in this game. And I can definitely say, at least in my opinion, it's got the most fun arsenal of weapons in the series not the best not you know the most gritty but the most fun and i think most people would agree you know you have the inflator ray you have the penetrator of course you have all these weird guns like the probe gun and, and all the, the things you have it's a very fun game and it has some very fun weapons but back to things i hate the customization essentially was just ripped from three yes there were more options but a lot of it just came back from three and it wasn't very innovational so you want about 3's clothing system, whether you loved it or hated it more, at least it did something different. Central 4 did nothing different, it just had a few more options, and I can't help but feel that really helped out the game customization wise Although those new options were pretty good, like the simulation suit things, I like quite like those. Also, speaking of things that was kind of just ported, it, it feels like Central 4 on both last year and current gen didn't have a graphical update. It, it was just the same game, it's Central 3 with superpowers, that's kind of how it felt for me, and I know it felt for a lot of people. Um, and that was a, a big pet peeve, that, that there's no, like, clear evolution. Saint Row from 2011 looks the exact same as Saint Row from 2014. And I mean, yes, there is slight enhancements, you know, on reflections and stuff, but it's it's the same game. The textures look almost ripped and no higher quality, and I can't help but feel that Saint Row 4 should have just been the DLC it was destined to be originally, but it never kind of went that way. 
But what I do love about it is its level design. Saints Row 3, say what you want about it, it had a lot of filler missions, but it had some very cool, unique one-off missions. This game does that even better, I'd say. The missions that are really cool in this game are really cool. And I feel like Saints Row 4 had some very good one-off missions, kind of like um, the one where you got back to Stillwater. That's an awesome mission, the one where you went in the big mech suit. There's plenty of one-off missions that I feel are pretty cool. But back to things I hate to end off the video here. I hate that we only had aliens to fight in the open world. Big pet peeve, yes there were murder bots, but realistically, it was aliens, it was aliens, 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 no gangs, no, there's nothing but aliens, and it was very boring to me, and it makes it harder to kind of just mess around in the free roam, I feel. At least in Saints Row 3, you have a few enemy types that you can run into, and in Saints Row 4, it's just a bit weird. And then, finally, the look of the game. The colour palette was awful, I hated the glitches, and the ultimate way to play Saints Row 4, in my, in my opinion, beat the story, go to the spaceship, Put the classic filter on, on the simulation override, go to your cheats and activate No Glitch City, and boom, it looks like Saints Row 3 and the game's infinitely more fun. However, I feel like they lowered the render distance and everything. It, it, it all looks weird, it looks downgraded almost, and, and I don't really like that. But hey, let me know what you think about this list. Do you agree, disagree, hate me, love me? I don't know. Make sure you're subscribed, like, and all that boring stuff. Comment down below your thoughts, though. What did you love about Saints Row, and what did you hate about Saints Row 4? Tell me one of each, why not? Tell me one thing you love, one thing you hate, and thank you all for watching. I love you guys so much, honestly. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.